Hi, this is Victoria and welcome back to the Living Leaner and Greener channel. Today we're showing you the progress we've made on our veggie barrel garden. We have 15 veggie barrels up and running and we're growing a lot of different vegetables. Uh, in case you didn't see our original video where we actually put together a veggie barrel, it's also on our uh, Living Leaner and Greener channel. So today we're showing you how we're doing with our our vegetable growing. So um, in case you don't know what a veggie barrel is, a veggie barrel is a repurposed 55 gallon drum that has a water reservoir in the bottom and uh, the top is filled with dirt and there's a um, wicking system in the middle that wicks the water up from the bottom up to the dirt and uh, maintains a continuous moisture level in the soil so that the plants can thrive. And uh, it's also an efficient uh, use of water so that you don't waste a lot of water. So that's very eco-friendly. And it's also eco-friendly because you're repurposing an existing product. You can also, uh, you can get these barrels free or cheap off of uh, the internet. Craigslist is a good resource. Or you can get them behind uh, at contact car washes or uh, cleaning, uh, cleaning supply uh, companies sometimes will have them. You just have to little, get a little resourceful. So, uh, Dan, do you want to show uh, us what some of the things that you're growing are? This is Dan. Hi, I'm Dan with Fish to Food on the Leaner and Greener channel. And um, here, um, on the first one, we have uh, apple mint and um, a um, heirloom tomato plant. And you can see we have a tomato in the very bottom down there. We've got a several tomatoes going in here. And um, and these are some uh, blueberries. Um, There's two types of blueberries. Two, yeah, two different <coughs> types of blueberries. you got a misty and a Gulf Coast. We're in Florida, so when you grow blueberries, you need two, uh, two types in order to cross-pollinate. And we have mulch on top because they're, they like a more an acid soil. And over here we have uh, some we strawberries. We have some strawberries. With strawberries starting out on there. We built this one out of a two 30-gallon barrels, um, but it was it was not easy. It was not an easy job to build this with these little pockets, and we probably will not try this again um, unless we get better tools. But it works. It works working well. And we don't regret doing it. Uh, it was just a lot of, lot of work. And on the but, top, we have watermelons on this half. Yeah, this, these are watermelons. And, and cantaloupe cantal on this half. Yeah. So what we're thinking we're going to do is drape them over the side and just let them right run over right. here in the, on the ground. At least that's what we're planning. And we also have some African blue basil planted over here. And we're hoping to attract some bees. African blue basil is a really good pollinator, or at least it's really, it's supposed to be, but I haven't seen any bees yet. Just, I'm just saying. Okay. And we have uh, two different types of onions growing in this one. Um, okay. And we have some green beans in here, and I, I built a trellis system for <coughs> attached to our fence to keep um, the vines, attach the vines to. And uh, we have zucchini in this barrel, uh, which as you can see is doing really well. Those are doing great, yeah. Those look very healthy. Uh, the cucumbers are off to a good start. And also have a trellis for those. And we have okra in here. And you can see it's being attacked by something. I've sprayed some... Um, um, BT worm killer. Yeah, BT worm killer on here. And... Uh, Okay. Um, and this has eggplant. Um, they're they're coming up okay. And then we have 
a lot of different types of peppers, orange, red, yellow, so those are bell peppers. Yeah, we actually planted these peppers and we didn't think they were going to come up, so we bought some peppers and then they did come up, so we may have too many peppers, so we may have to take some of these out and move them to another barrel, but we'll see as things go along what we have to do. And we have some winter squash in here, like a like an acorn type of squash that's in here. And uh, these are potatoes. And um, I just got done filling it up with a little extra soil. You're supposed to bring the soil level up as they grow up, so I've, I've been doing that. <coughs> and uh, we have snap peas. You can see they're off to a good start. And, um, and then we have another just tomato one plant. one little lone tomato down, down there. there. And this one's empty. And this one's empty. Okay, so our garden's coming along nicely. We need to make a few more trellises. And uh, I'll, we'll check back in a month or so and see how we're doing. This is Vicki and Dan from the Living Leaner and Greener channel. Thanks for joining.